more and more patients which are 20 or 30 years old, which is really unexpected. And that's why we have to think about it when we got a patient with the symptoms which could address that in the background it might be the cancer. Because in most of the cases we would say, oh, even he has some bowel problems, it's probably some functional problems. And we maybe won't send those patients to the colonoscopy. Especially if the patient has nobody in the family who had the previous cancer. So I'm seeing more and more patients at that age. So that's why I'm really thinking about it and sending those patients to the colonoscopy whenever I think that they might have a cancer. So especially if those patients are having a bloody stools, if they're anemic, if they're losing weight, that's the definitely symptoms that I always send it to the colonoscopy. What I've seen in my practice that most of those patients being younger are having much more severe disease and they're getting metastases much more earlier. They do not respond to the therapy that well, so the survival is actually shorter. So the point is to find those patients at the earlier stage and that's the only time that we can really help them. If we miss that period, they will come back again with much more advanced disease and that will be much more tougher to, to treat. We will send the message to the doctors to pay attention to the younger patient because they won't get to the age of 50 when they will go through the we will send the message to the doctors to pay attention to the younger patient because they won't get to the age of 50 when they will go through the screening colonoscopy. So that's why we have to think about it and to send the message to the doctors and that's why we organize all of this organization for the younger patients to think about it and to send them to the definitely colonoscopy which can save their lives if we find a cancer at the early stage.